So I want to talk to you this afternoon about another wonderful aspect that I love about doTERRA and that's something that they do call co-impact sourcing. Um, when doTERRA was traveling the world looking for different sources, um, wonderful sources for their um, essential oils, they saw a lot of different communities that had a lot of different needs around the world. Um, they have a foundation called Helping Hands. Um, and what that does is actually contributes money and um, actually supports a lot of the communities that are growing and harvesting these oils and working so hard to do so um, to help impact their communities in a greater way. Um, some of the projects that they've done, for instance, um, a video we're gonna see a little bit later is in one of the villages in Haiti where they source their vetiver from and helping them get a clean, continuous source of running water. Something that we take for granted so much every day. Um, and it's great. I love when I place my monthly order. I just always have that in my box, my like $1 donation um, to their um, Healing Hands organization. Um, it's their way of making sure that their impact the communities that they source the oil from in a positive way, um, giving them a, a purpose and, a, and a, um, an economic provision in life in, in buying those oils from them, but then also building up their communities to help give them um, a better opportunity and a better life. Um, so again, that's called co-impact sourcing, and you'll see right in the next post, I'm gonna post uh, a video on that that you can watch and comment on. It's just something that I love. Um, I think it's a huge part of what our why should be in life is, is less about how it can impact ourselves, but how we can impact others around the world um, and those of us around us in our own lives to um, just make the world a better place. Um, I love the quote by Andy Stanley when he says, you can't do for one what you wish you could do for everyone. Um, so I think of that and I just, I love that, that part about doTERRA as a company and that that's part of their mission.